There are two types of people in the world. People who like to see information organised like this, this, and this, and people who like to see information organised like this, this, or this. If you're in the second group, you're probably missing out on something huge. In late 2022, Apple released an app called Freeform. It worked across all their devices and promised a lot. The other thing was, it's totally free. You know, if you already own one of those mega expensive Apple devices. Well, I've just deleted it and I replaced it with something altogether better, which lets me keep my notes, thoughts and ideas organised in a far better way and makes them quicker to find too. But before we get into why I deleted one of Apple's best free creative apps in years, it's important to understand why visual notes have become so prevalent over the last few years. And let's be honest, there are a huge number of these types of apps showing up now. This move from classic note taking to visual notes is actually backed up by science. So did you know, for example, that the brain processes visuals 60,000 times faster than text. So when you store information this way, it's like giving your mind a high speed train to use to recall it rather than getting on a battered old bicycle. So that effect is compounded if you combine visuals with the audio of a presentation or a speech. A bit like a YouTube video when I come to think of it. And in fact, research has shown that visual note taking can increase comprehension and data retention by up to 30%, plus help learners understand far bigger ideas than standard note taking. In summary, if you've never tried visual note taking before, you're probably missing out on all of this. And that brings us on to Freeform. It's one of those infinite canvas tools where you can add sticky notes, text, files and images to map out your thoughts. And if you're an iPad fan, you can even just draw on it like a massive whiteboard. But here's the thing, my brain just doesn't work like this. And there's a good chance yours doesn't too. I mean, sure, Freeform's great if all you wanna do is dump a load of pictures on a board and then scribble on them a bit and maybe invite your friends to scribble on them too. And it just automatically syncs all of this information whether you're working on a Mac, a phone or an iPad. Actually, it's beginning to sound quite good now for a free app. Why did I delete it again? One big reason is that it just appears on your device, whether you want it or not. Apple quite like doing this. Last year, they released a journaling app, which is, how can I put this kindly? A bit thin. And the less said about that U2 album, the better. Was that really a whole decade ago? I'm getting old. But yeah, the main reason I deleted this app is because it's just too much chaos. Now call me old fashioned, but I don't like the idea of a completely free mind. What was it that Junior said to Bunny in that really old film from the 80s? Simple, free your mind, your ass will follow. Okay, Junior, what if I don't want my mind freed? Or my ass, for that matter. I like order, I like connectedness. I like, well, I like Scrintle. If you've not heard of Scrintle, it's not just a freeform alternative, it kind of is freeform, combined with a really sophisticated system for curating information. It gives you a way to convert ideas into structured knowledge. Here's how it works. You know, in detective shows, they usually catch the killer by creating a complex web of connections between the victim and everyone they know. I often used to find myself looking at that thinking, well, wouldn't it be great if you could do that, but for all the information in your head? Well. That's basically how Scrintle is set up. You start off with a blank canvas and then you can add information via these cards. Now that information could be text, lists, images, videos, tweets, or uploaded files. You can then arrange these cards onto boards and then place links between those cards on a board or even place boards within boards. But we're getting ahead of ourselves here. Let me just give you an example. So let's say I was making a mind map to capture all the stuff to remember from a course that I'm on. I might have some boards for different modules or lessons and then each topic might be captured on a card with links and pictures and references captured around it. And I might then think about referencing some of these themes and topics with other topics that I know about. This is all possible thanks to the way Scrintel's linking system works. If I'm trying to do this in free form, I simply can't. So all those opportunities to make links between topics that are deeply connected and then remind myself why just get lost. And if I want to bring other people in to collaborate on a board, I can share or publish it and then allow folk to contribute alongside me. Likewise, I can just give access to a single card if I want without people being able to see the whole thing. Now there is nowhere near this level of granularity available on Freeform. It's just all or nothing when it comes to sharing. Now all of this brings me back to why I chose to use Scrintle over Freeform. I am going to do this quick fast style, so 
Get ready. Firstly, Freeform is Apple only and won't play nicely with Windows systems. Scrintle, on the other hand, is cross-platform. So if you work on a PC and you use a Mac at home, you're all good and you can keep all your thinking together. Secondly, Freeform doesn't let you connect ideas as easily as it should or at all really. It's just a place to put stuff. And a bit like that drawer in your kitchen that has all your old instruction manuals in, that's where it's destined to stay. Next up, Freeform's search function really doesn't work in the way it should do, whereas Scrintle has got deep search facilities built in using tags, labels, and lots more. Finally, a bit of a sneak preview, Scrintle is building some really clever AI-based stuff into their system to help do things like summarize huge blocks of text within the cards to make these things called atomic notes, or bring together single summaries from groups of cards. I've seen some sneak previews of this and it is looking really cool. Freeform, on the other hand, has got Siri, which is a bit like asking a toddler to have an intellectual debate against an academic. It's not really fair, is it? In terms of pricing, I think Scrintle is priced pretty fairly. You can pay the equivalent of $6.99 a month billed annually, or they have a one-time payment option which pays for itself after a couple of years. Now, I don't know about you, but I absolutely love one-time payment options. I don't know why more software companies don't offer this alongside regular subscription models. I also really like the fact that you can see what you're paying for. They've got a really open view on their product roadmap so you can see what's coming next in terms of new features. And the lovely people at Scrintle have offered you lovely people a 10% discount on their personal pro plan. Just follow the link in my description and pop in the code and you'll be off and away. A big tag health to Scrintle for sponsoring the channel this week. Meanwhile, if you're in the habit of taking loads of meeting notes and then pouring over them weeks later to try and remember what on earth you talked about, you're going to want to take a look at this video where I show you one of the coolest little gadgets to make capturing meeting notes completely effortless. And yes, you can combo it with Scrintle for a super powered approach. I'll see you over there.